So if they were actually out um, and going to malls and stuff. But are the malls measuring for for the uh, oh, wheelchair people? Yeah. Oh, the malls are great. Oh, they're as good as any mall in the U.S. They have to be. They have to be. Well, they have to because it's international. They have to be because if they didn't, they would get sued, you know? They would have problems, so that's why they have to. I don't think it's the only reason, but they must. And um, I haven't been to a mall in Dubai that isn't accessible. Now, don't get me wrong, three blocks away and the distance getting to the mall isn't exactly accessible. But once, if you can get to the mall, it's no problem. And I have a different situation. My wheelchair is a little bit taller than most. Most people are in push wheelchairs, and they're sitting a good 12 inches shorter than I am. So they have what's called um, special needs fans. They have four of them, but I can't fit in it. So I'm really one. I'm in a unique situation here. I'm really one of the only people that has a problem. Hello, guys. How are you going? Good to see you. I'm really one of the only people that has an issue with these accessible vans. And that's one reason why it's not important enough to try to push them. I, who am I? I'm just one person that moved here from another country. Why should they change their whole ways for me? They shouldn't. They have accessible vehicles to cater to others. The, 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 the problem is if, if more disabled people knew about it, they would use them more frequently and they might put one of the bigger ones back on the road. And the truth is eventually once I'm settled in, I'm gonna, my company will purchase me a van. I'll no longer be using uh, taxis and there won't be a reason to fight it anyway. So. It's actually so she, maybe a way of a three kilometer you can put that across. You can say that you, you're trying to make a way that there is taxis and the malls are accessible for people. You know, I, it goes back to me and I'm, look, for example, most people who are paralyzed or, or disabled to a wheelchair. Not most, but many have put themselves there. For example, I'm in this wheelchair because of, I put myself in an airplane. Someone else puts themselves in a car and they hit, get into an accident. Someone else dives into the water, breaks their neck. So it's usually the person who has put themselves there, unless they grow up with a disability. But we're 1% we're, we're of the population on the planet. Why should the ways of every other human being change? For us, they can't be. They can't create sidewalks just for wheelchairs and up and down curbs and big doors. For what? I mean, it, in reality, we're only going to use them how often? Today, I went to Carrefour. There's one line. It says, Desi, specifically designed for wheelchair access. The lady in front of me had a thousand groceries and she was perfectly fine. And, you know, the lady at the register was totally like, oh, I'm so sorry. Would you like to come ahead of me? I said, no, it's okay, but it's just the idea that they're not used to getting people in the line with a wheelchair. So, the, the sign gets ignored, you know? And that's just the way it is. And until I roll up on the line, then they go, you know, and they make... So, it's just a... And that's just the way it is. There's nothing... So, who am I to make people change? I need to adjust. No, I'm not saying change. Just let them know that they, you can get out and you can go to the malls. And I, I, that's what he's I saying. actually made a video. It's online. Mm. It's called... Um, it might be called Dubai Taxi Part 1 and 2 or 3. You can see him. I, I, I brought my camera with me. Half of them don't even know I was recording. I recorded the whole conference and I was the only camera in there. Besides a still camera. So, I recorded the whole conversation. I recorded me telling them everything about it. I recorded them saying they were going to do something about it. And I could use the video to be a jerk if I wanted to, but that's not what I was trying to do. I was recording my life. I wasn't recording their lives. They were rewarding me for using the taxi so much. That, so, I, I wasn't there to make trouble. I was there to accept the reward, the award, and move on. Um, I mean, it was really hypocritical. They took a picture of me in front of the new van that was donated, but it wasn't a van I could fit in. So it was really just about the image, you know. It wasn't. They weren't really trying to make a change, I don't think. And uh, that's just the way it is. It's Dubai. I mean, when you when you zoom out Google Earth, it's 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 nothing. It's a tiny little place in the middle of a. a it gets lost in the desert. Um, it just sounds so big and it seems like they need to be doing all the best of everything. But especially in a place where 
people were living in the desert, how could you expect them to just accept wheelchairs? You know, the one day there was only desert. Now there, there, there are sidewalks, there are buildings with big doors. I mean, they've already done, by my standards, way more than they could. I'm allowed to be here. I can be here. I'm, I'm able to go in the malls and in the stores. And I mean, to me, that's already a gift. I don't. I, who am I to ask for more? I'm not. So I see it like this. Someone that's disabled in a wheelchair, they have to adapt to the ways of what's happening around them. If not, go somewhere else. That simple. If I don't like it here or I can't handle taking taxis the way it is, I should go back to the States. Simple. I can't expect everyone else to fight and make petitions and change their lives. It's, it's, there's so many better things to be working towards, you know? Not to mention half the people in wheelchairs don't care. They don't care about going out there. They don't care about themselves. So why should other people try to make them happier if they can't even be happy alone? So it's an endless battle, I think. And Maybe if 50 people in chairs all got together and they said, Hey, look, we're a happy crowd and we want to get out and we want to do fun stuff. Maybe then they might see a reason to do it. But that's not happening. You know? I met a guy, he's a lawyer here. He's a paraplegic and he's a lawyer. And for six years he was fighting the ways, these ways. And he's given up totally because even as a lawyer, he can't make change, things change. So, it's just how it goes. Anyway, enough about that. But whatever happens, it happens for this walk. That's great. 